right hand side and certainly he's the U's made their first live TV appearance for seven years at Bristol City and we'll leave Sky to give you the lowdown on a battling display down at Ashton Gate. Well, Scott Brown pounces on a loose ball, looking for Bridges, only chance for City. Duties of her own to do, Keogh as well. Well, wild shot there by Watson. Corner and more pressure for the away side. Into the near post, picked on by Horford. Watson in space outside the box, and it's a great attempt on goal. Tipped over by Phillips. Iwalumu, dummies, allows Holford through. And is it free and hits the bar when surely he was well placed to put Colchester 1 0 up. Brought men forward. Keogh again probes forward. And Murray's run forces Colchester to defend. And Murray. Force is an excellent save from Davison. Well, a superb save, but it was terrific technique from Scott Murray. And a scaffold has broken out, which the referee spots. There were arms raised, and Rain Brown has been ordered from the field. I have to admit, I, I didn't see what was going on, and equally, I was quite certain that the referee actually had his back to the incident, so. I may be wrong, but I'm quite surprised as to why he's given the red card there. And well, I did have a clear view. I saw arms raised. Every man fought for that corner, apart from Lewis Carey. Grant Smith will get their second bite. And oh, over the bar. Here's a side arc, Lewis Carey. Grant Smith. Everyone up above and Scott Brown. Glance on by Murray. We'd uh, obviously worked on our back four uh, through this week and uh, you know we had to go with a few different permutations but one four I didn't work with was Baldwin, Richards, Brown and Alakobi. Um But you know the character of those lads is absolutely unquestioned and uh, you know you know I've always wanted warriors I always want people to do that side of it and I always want to pass the ball as well uh, but be a warrior if you can pass the ball as well then that's not a bad combination to have I don't know whether I'm getting carried away but some of the performance and some of the things I've just seen out on the pitch were absolutely heroic and uh, we come up here on the back of a defeat against South End and uh, you know questions are being asked and people could stand on the pitch and look at each other but you know the spirit was absolutely first class. After a goalless draw at Bristol, there was a goal fest in the U's next game. Parkey's side ran out winners, but it was the visitors that scored four of the five goals.
half performance um, was very good. Um, second half, we might, we, you know, we might have got our distances a bit wrong, sat back in a little bit. We still had chances to go further ahead, uh, but it made it nervous for us when they when they scored the penalty. You know, three two, come at us all guns blazing. You know, they're not a bad teams. So that's a good result for us. Anyway.